In this question, we're told the point A is a distance 1 unit from the fixed origin O. Its position vector is A, which is 1 over root 2, the quantity I plus J. The point B has position vector A plus J as shown in figure 1. By considering the triangle OAB, prove that tan of 3 pi by 8 is equal to 1 plus root 2. Let's go ahead and look at this diagram. We've got A and we have the position vector 1 over root 2, the quantity I plus J. So this is in the direction I plus J. That's going to give me a 45 degree angle here, or a pi by 4 angle. If we look at B now, B is directly above. All we've done is added 1 to the J component. So if you wanted, you could write this now in column form. If you consider A, we've got now 1 over root 2. You certainly don't have to do this, but it might help. And then 1 over root 2. When we have B, we've got now the I component of 1 over root 2. The J component, though, is 1 over root 2 plus 1. What we can say then is this length is going to be 1, and we know this length is going to be 1. So I'm going to write here that the modulus, and writing it out, the modulus of AO will be equal to the modulus of AB, which will be equal to 1 unit. We're told now that A is a distance of 1. We can see that this is a distance of 1. And that's one way of looking at it. Certainly don't have to, but that is an option for you. So what we can say, we can say, therefore, now, if these are both 1 unit, we've got an isosceles triangle. We can say, therefore, now, triangle O. A, B is an isosceles triangle. So let's write this here, an isosceles triangle. And just jot in this down. So let's consider now some more information. I'm going to define a point, and we could call that point C, or we could call it X, and that's going to be a point now on the X axis. And that's going to be fair. So all I've done is drop down a perpendicular. So I've now got a right angle just here. I'm going to call this point C, if this is in the direction of i plus j, we've got now the angle just here. That's going to be pi by 4. If this is pi by 2, we've got now pi by 4 just here. So what we can state is the following. We can save the angle, so writing this in, we've got angle AOC will be equal to angle OAC, so angle OAC, which will be equal to pi by 4. Therefore, let's just write this down, we can say that the angle, and I'll take the angle to be the angle OAB, let's write this in, the angle OAB will be equal to pi minus pi by 4. Just consider now the sum of the angles on a straight line. So I'm looking at this angle right here. So we've got now this angle, and that's going to give me now that the angle OAB, so we can say that angle OAB will be equal to 3 pi by 4, or I could say 6 pi by 8. It's entirely up to you. The reason I'm looking at it like this is I'm going to now use this information in my isosceles triangle. So what I've got then, I've got AB, and then I've got AO, there's my isosceles triangle, and we can just put this information on. So one way that you could do this is to show now that this is going to be equal to this one. This is going to be my 6 pi by 8. So we've got these two angles just here. So what we can say is the following. We can say that the angle, and write this in, we can say that the angle AOC, which is the one that I'm interested in, sorry, AOB, let's write this in, AOB, which is this one just here, will be equal now to the angle O. B A, and we can write that one that way, or we could say A B O, entirely up to A B O, will be equal, and they will be equal now to, if we take pi, let's go ahead and do that, pi minus the 6 pi by 8, divided now by 2. That's what we're going to have on them. So all we're doing is taking this away from pi. We know that the angles in a triangle, they sum to give pi, or 180, so we can say now that the angle... A, O, B will be equal to, that's going to give me now, pi by 8. So if we now draw a triangle up, what I'm going to do is state that the angle, and the angle, this is going to be B, O, C, let's write this here, we can say that angle B, O, C will be now equal to the angle, I'm going to take the angle A, 
AOB, and I'll write this in. So let's do that one. AOB, so AOB, so AOB plus now the angle just here, which is going to be AOC. So just writing this in, we've got now AOC. So we can say now that the angle BOC will be equal to pi by 8 plus now the pi by 4 that we've got just here. So let's just write this in, pi by 4. Therefore, we can say now that the angle BOC will be equal to 3 pi by 8. So I've now found my 3 pi by 8. If we've got now 3 pi by 8, what we could say now is that the tan of the angle just here is going to be the opposite over the adjacent. So we could say now tan of 3 pi by 8 will be equal now to the opposite over the adjacent. So we've got the opposite, which is going to be CB, over the adjacent, which is going to be CO. So we've got now CB or BC, and then we're going to have now CO or OC. So let's go ahead and write this out. So we can say tan of 3 pi by 8. We've already found BC. BC is simply now the length just here, which is going to be our 1 over root 2 plus 1. So let's write this in. We've got now 1 over root 2 plus 1 over now O to C. And if we consider O to C, that's simply this length right here. Or if you like, it's the I component. So we've got the I component and we know that's going to be 1 over root 2. All I'm going to do at this point in time is multiply top and bottom by root 2. We can therefore say, and we can write this just here, we can say now that tan of 3 pi by 8 will be equal to, if I multiply this by uh, the root 2, I'm going to have 1 plus root 2 over 1. And we can see now the form that they want is 1 plus root 2. And we can say, therefore, I'm just writing out tan of 3 pi by 8 is equal to 1 plus root 2 as required. So that's one way around the problem. It's certainly not the only way, um, and I've gone into a fair bit of detail in terms of listing all of these out. In terms of a mark should be awarded, you would have to show good communication in terms of what you're showing. Um, I've kind of been fairly elaborate with this, and you may get away with writing less, but some construction is really quite important to show the angle facts that you're using and the fact that these triangles are isosceles triangles.